Hi everyone, uh, David here. I just want to talk a bit about TypeScript, what it's for, what the point is, and why it's a good language to learn in 2021. Um, in particular, if you're looking to change jobs uh, after lockdown, trying to find something which is like web development, which can be done anywhere. And TypeScript is really one of the best languages to learn for this because it allows you to work efficiently uh, and to develop both front end and back end. So what you learn for TypeScript can be used to create servers, to create React applications and so on. And so it's really useful. Um, I've been using TypeScript for about five years, maybe some a bit more. TypeScript is one of those languages which is powerful and easy to learn and fun to code in. First question, what is TypeScript? Basically TypeScript is JavaScript with types. Now, once we've said that, we haven't said much. It's a superset of JavaScript. So JavaScript is actually valid TypeScript code. To transform type JavaScript, a JavaScript file into TypeScript, all you need to do is change the extension to TS. The question then becomes, but why should I learn TypeScript when JavaScript is kind of the standard? And the thing is, TypeScript transpiles to JavaScript. So when you code in TypeScript, you generate JavaScript with the compiler. Anything you can do in JavaScript, you can do with TypeScript. The thing is, it's also a lot more powerful and a lot more easy to use than JavaScript. It's faster to code, it's easier to debug, it's very popular, it's very much liked, and all these things make it easier to learn. Now why is it easier to learn? Why is it faster? Why is it easier to code? The reason is the types. Types means it's faster to code, easier to debug. What are types? Types are information that we insert into the script. In this example, we have a basic function called update. We don't know what the type of the parameter being passed in, in the parameter is. We don't know what's happening inside. When we add types, here we have more information just the fact of adding this type, this information inside the program means that the editor can provide that information when you're coding and provide hints, which makes it easier to code in because when you're typing, it will tell you, okay, you're trying to put in the wrong type of, of parameter. This is a string and you're trying to put in a number or vice versa or the information that you're getting back. For example, I'm calling the function. I'm trying to access the members of the object that's being rendered, that's being given back and um, the fact of having the type information will allow me to know exactly what the members of the object are and to be able to access them a lot easier and so it makes it, things a lot faster because I don't need to go back into the code to work out what is the logic and how it's being the, 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 the object is being filled. I can actually get that information directly into intelligence in, the, in my visual code editor because it will read, read the types and the types will tell me what I need to access. So it makes it just easier, more fluid, faster. Types bring clarity. Types bring clarity not only for yourself, but also for other people. Other people could be yourself in six months. Um, it also brings clarity to the editor. As I said, it brings information that allows you to give types, give hints to the, to the editor, which makes the editor able to show you where you made mistakes or to provide information about what you want to access. All this means fewer bugs. Um, it's been estimated that 15% of bugs in JavaScript are caught just by coding in TypeScript. I 15% of bugs in JavaScript are type bugs. Now, this explains the rise in popularity of TypeScript. If we look at this graph, we have um, a strong rise since since 2017, um, whereas further down than the, the top 10, and it has gone up to number four um, in popularity. And by popularity here, I mean um, the number of repositories on GitHub which use this language. If we look in terms of how the uh, language is loved, there's a survey every year done by Slack Overflow and um, every year since the last five years, Rust is way ahead 
Um, and it used to be Python that was second, and now TypeScript has just is just moved ahead um, as a more popular language. And I actually prefer TypeScript to the, to, to Python um, because of types, and because I find the whole experience to be a lot more fluid. Um, and that's kind of the explanation of why I started TypeScript. I knew ActionScript, I knew Lua, I knew Python, I knew a number of things. Um, and I tried JavaScript because um, Node was just coming out and the idea of being able to code with the same language on the server or on the client was sounded fun to me um, and useful and powerful. And the problem was that um, when I was doing that, uh, JavaScript was being frustrating and then I tried TypeScript and straight away it became more fun, clearer, faster. Yeah. Well, thanks for listening. Um, in the next video in this series, we're going to start building our first React app with TypeScript. Um, if this video was useful to you, uh, please subscribe and click on the notifications bell. You can also like the video and if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, you can express them in the comment section below. Thank you very much.